I have something amazing to show you. <laughs> Somebody gave me a motherfucking light up bow tie. I think I'm gonna cry. Hello YouTube and welcome to part two of coming out to best friends. The series! Last video we covered some very basic themes like the to whom's, when's, and why's of my coming out. But hopefully this time we get a little deeper into the thoughts and reactions that happen when somebody confesses something so personal to somebody else. So let's jump right back into the convo and hear some more from my best friend Emily. So then after you knew, do you feel like anything changed between us in any way? You haven't asked me these, a lot of these questions before. Right. So, so it's pretty organic. A little bit. <laughs> Initially a little bit, only because it was on my mind. So it was just kind of like, in things you'd say or do or things you talked about, maybe I try to like, see it. Maybe you can see the gay. That's just... really interesting. Obviously that was said facetiously and something that Emily and I talked about later was that she couldn't see the gay. Uh. Unless I decided to make out with a lady, you can't really see gay. Thankfully, I was still the same Ashley in her eyes, but that doesn't necessarily mean that things were perfect. Like after that conversation, we obviously talked about it that night, but we never really talked about it again in depth until months later. Why do you think that is? I think you were embarrassed, yeah. and I think I was embarrassed. Sure. I was embarrassed to ask, because I didn't want to sound like an idiot, and you were embarrassed to share in case I didn't want to hear. Yeah. I think that's pretty accurate. Okay. So it was like way into our freshman year and <laughs> of college. College of college. And um, we were roommates. Yes. Uh, you can cut this out. Nope. I just remember one night, uh, it was really late, and I just remember looking at Ashley and I finally like had like the courage to be like, You have boobs. Why do you like boobs? <laughs> do you remember that? You said, I think you asked me like does this mean you're attracted to yourself? Yes! Right. And Ashley educated me. Which is good for me because I don't want to make ignorant, hurtful, wrongful claims to people that I'm maybe not as close to. And I hope Ashley knows that I'm generally right. asking out of curiosity and to like be more educated. Right. And like, I mean, I know you can go to the internet, but the internet's weird. So my next question might be a little tougher. Um, it involves some self-reflection. But in hindsight, now that it's like five years later, I'm wondering if now that you look back on me coming out to you and the, that day and that moment, and then maybe the months that like followed, would you change your reaction at all? Or would you change like anything if yeah. you could? What would you have done? I would not have just been like, what are you a lesbian? Okay. <laughs> I definitely would not have done that. Maybe I wish I would have been, I don't know. Cause you, you can be, you can be a little like, I'm gonna just use this motion to describe you. I'm and personal. I keep things personal. Yes. I, I maybe I wish I would have like opened the floodgates to talking about it more openly sooner. Sure. But I think I was genuinely scared of you being like, I don't want to talk about it. Eh, sure. That was hard enough. I don't want to keep talking about it. So I think that scared me. But I wish we could have had a more open communication about it. In the it beginning. Sooner. But I would never have wanted to pressure you into talking about it if you weren't ready. Right. And I totally agree. The few months that we spent avoiding talking about sexuality were a little uncomfortable for me. I would have been much happier to answer Emily's goofy, ridiculous questions like, are you attracted to your own boobs, rather <laughs> than sit in silence around the subject like we did for a while. For the most part, emphasis on most part, and we'll get to that later, questions are awesome. They're curious, innocent, and the person coming out is often happy to answer them. How would you wish I, my reaction would have been different? I'm gonna throw it back on you now. Um. Damn it. I did something terrible. Okay, I don't know if I'll keep this in the video, but if I'm being honest, because mm -hmm. we're all about intent versus impact, so yep. you probably didn't intend to offend me or make, feel, make me feel strange in any way. Intent versus impact is the concept that everyone's actions have both an intent and an impact, and that these two things don't always necessarily align. Like accidentally stepping on someone's toe. You are probably a very good person, and your intent was probably not to break all of their toe bones. However, that was your impact when you stomped all over them accidentally. So consider apologizing and in the future perhaps be more careful where you walk. But there were a few questions that you asked or issues that you posed that made me feel a little strange. And maybe one of them was like, well, since we're roommates in college, how do you think other people are going to perceive me? And I thought, did I ask that? Yeah. No, I didn't. It's okay. Genuinely was probably like, your intent was probably much different than it impacted me. It was probably like, 
oh, my thought process was just like, if two girls are rooming together and one's like gay, the other one has to be gay, right? Mm -hmm. And I think I was just being like, what should I say? So right down. No, and see, in hindsight, Emily can recognize that a question like that may have triggered some uncomfortable feelings for me. I had to work up all this courage to tell her something very personal about myself, and now on top of that, I have to worry about how other people perceive her because of that? But really, that was such a small road bump in the process of coming out and gaining an even deeper friendship with Emily, and we can talk about it so openly today. So I guess the moral is, coming out doesn't always, every time, go 100,000% perfectly. But when you have awesome friends, it is totally worth it to be open and honest to someone. And since everybody's story is different, here are two of my favorite LGBT content creators to share theirs with you. Hi guys, I'm Ebony. And I'm Denise. And we are Olivia Has Two Moms. So I remember when I came out to my besties, it was actually three of them at one shot. And when I told them, again, it was over the phone, three of them on the phone with me, one of my friends was like, oh my god, so now it makes sense, because I used to think he was hitting on me, which was so not true. Um, then my other friend was like, like, that can't be, because, you know, back in high school, I was considered, like, the popular girl and dated the, the athletes and so forth, so she was just in shock, and then... My third bestie, she was very shocked but extremely supportive. Make a long story short, when I came up to my three best friends at the same time, they were all very supportive. Um, I had just came out to my mother and that wasn't the best time so to have the support of my three besties at the time really made it um, a better time for me. So I came out to my best friend like I want to say like a year ago. We lost contact for a very long time. I think it was like over well, eight years. We um, recently found each other on Instagram and that's when she, you know, she saw my Instagram. She's like, what? Seriously? Are you serious? So you came out much, much later to your best friend. Yeah, like, much, much She's married later. with a kid now and yeah, her best friend is and finding then she's out. Like, what? And I told her about it and she was fine. She's great support and she loves us and she watches our channel. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who's coming out to their best friends, we hope it's an easy transition for you. Um, if they're truly your friend, they will remain your friend. They will remain <laughs> your friend even after coming out to them. If they do not accept you, then they were never, ever your best friend. Friend. Also, here are a handful of other beautiful people's coming out experiences in five words or less. Help dysphoria save my life. <sighs> Relief. Surprisingly, not that bad. Awkward and terrifying, but relieving. A euphoric liberation. Um, five words is very difficult. She'd always be my friend. Terrifying then, but amazing now. If I had to summarize my coming out to experience in five words or less, it would probably have to be Blurted it out while drunk. Coming out to my best friends was wonderful. It was liberating. It was surprisingly easy. It was really hilarious. Five words or less. Ah. Uh, extended glee metaphor. They already know. Weird and scary, but awesome. And they still love me. Freeing, loved, and strangely accomplished. Overly dramatic and worth it. Yay! I hope you enjoyed that because in like a month, there's gonna be part three. Ally edition, yay! If you have any tips, tricks, or stories for people coming out, leave them below in the comments. Okay, bye. Follow me on Twitter. Oh my gosh, look, every single cutie pie on this end slate will be posting a video at some point today on their own channel about coming out to best friends. It's like an awesome, cool LGBT YouTube mega collab. Make sure to spread the love. Also, check out Olivia Has Two Moms because they are flawless. And if you want to watch part one of the series, you totally can do that. Okay, bye.